Hello students and welcome to lesson five. In this lesson, I'm going to be teaching you how to talk about the past, how to talk about something you have already done. Now, this could be something that you have already done last night, last month, last year, maybe even last week. Look at this picture. This is a picture of Khao San Road in Bangkok. When people from Europe, North America, South America come to Thailand, the one place they must go is Khao San Road. Khao San Road is near the Grand Palace and it is one road with souvenir shops, bars, hostels, hotels, and nighttime activities. Now, when I tell people about my traveling, I want to tell them where I went. So, looking at this picture, if I want to tell people about my trip to Bangkok in 2021, what would I say? Last night? Last month? Last year? Or last week? The answer? It's going to be last year because this year is 2022. So we're gonna put last year here. When you talk about the past simple or something you did, begin with talking about the time. Okay, now, what do I say? Do I say last year I go to Kaosan Road? Or, hey, go back. Or do I, hey, no, you cannot go. Or do I say, last year I went to Kaosan Road. What do you think? Go to or went to? The answer is went to went and go have the same definition, but the word went means to go already. Go, pasatai, by. Went, pasatai, by lao. Next, let's talk about why I changed the word from go to went. When you talk about the past, you are only changing the verb. Remember, a verb is a word about what you did. Eat, jump, swim, run. Those are all words about what you do. When we use irregular verbs, we are talking about what happened between before now. So this is what's happening now. And if you are my students on Wednesday, here is Wednesday. And if you are my students on Friday, this is Friday. So this is now. But if I talk to you about Kaosan Road last year, that is the past right here. That is the past. Okay. Right now, it is 2022 and we are learning English together. When I talk about Kaosan Road, that is the past. 
So when we talk about the past, we use irregular. Irregular is when you change the entire word. Irregular, where you change the entire word. For example, for example, I want you to look at me. What am I doing here? Yes, you can say, say that I drink. I drink. But for irregular, you need to change the entire word. So we can say, may I drink. I had a Coke. I had a Coke. Or we can say, I drank a Coke. I drank a Coke. Last year, I had a Coke at Kaosan Road. Or last year, I drank a Coke at Kaosan Road. Had, drank. That is how we talk about what we do, what we did. Drink. This is what you do right now. But drank and had, these are what you did in the past. Okay, now let's go to regular verbs. Right here, regular verbs. Look at this picture of me, students. What am I doing? Pom rien, chamai? Yeah, rien. Study. Study. And regular verbs are really easy. For a regular verb, you just need to put ed at the end. Studied. Actually, here, I'm sorry. But for this one, we need an I. There we go. Studied. Studied. Some words that are regular verbs you just need ed or ied but other verbs you need to change the entire verb and so you need to have a new word like drink or had next let's talk more about that so this is a picture of London. Whoa, hello London. Okay, and in London, well, it's where I went on vacation. So we, bup, 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 to London for our vacation. I'm talking about the past. So what will I say, students? Go or went? Went. That's right. The answer is went. We went to London for our vacation. Next. So now we have three things that I'm doing. Here, I drive and, well, I can drive and I can snorkel and I can
jump. So students, when we talk about the past, last night, last month, last year, last week, what should we say for me here? Last night, I bup, 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 my car. Last night, I bup, 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 my car. Do we say drive or drove? Well, it can't be drive. So the answer is drove. Last night, I drove my car. Drove. And here with snorkel, Last year, I went snorkeling in Hua Hin. Last year, I went snorkeling in Hua Hin. What did I do? I snorkeled in Hua Hin. I snorkeled in Hua Hin. Finally, I like to jump. It's great exercise. Now, when I talk about jumping in the past, I don't say jump, I say jumped, jumped, and the ED makes a T sound. That's something we'll learn more about in the term. Regular verbs like jumped have ED and there are three sounds. Right here we have snorkeled snorkeled d it has a d sound the ed it has a d sound but here jumped it has a t sound a t sound so there are many different sounds that we can make with ed there is d and there's one more Id, id. This one right here. Studied, d, d. So that's not a T. It's not an ID. It's a T D sound. Studied, snorkel, d, d, d. Jumped. All right. And we're finished. Now you know all about how to talk about what you did in the past. And I have two videos that I want you to watch. You are going to watch this grammar video in your native Thai language about the difference between present simple and past simple tense. Today I taught you past simple. Then, after you understand that, I want you to talk about this popular YouTube video. Seven million views on YouTube. You will tell me what happened in Sam's video. What did Sam do? Where did Sam go? I want you to answer using the past simple. And we're finished. Thank you for learning with me today. I'm your teacher, Teacher Ken. Don't forget to complete this homework within three days. And 
for all of you in my YouTube channel who want to practice with me, you can comment in the comments section about what you saw in this video. Use the past tense and I will try my best to reply to you. Thank you so much. See you next week.